you know, you got to go with Devin. De Devin's going to be the favorite because he just beat the guy to beat the man. Mm -hmm. You know, so he's going to go in as a favorite. This is not a boxing match to me. This is a fight. I can't lose. At the end of the day, Ryan Garcia is just another opponent to me. I'm in competition with greatness. This is bigger than Ryan Garcia. Ryan is just in my way. Mike Tyson has just given a brutal warning to Ryan Garcia ahead of his fight with Devin Haney. Similarly, Eddie Hearn, the mastermind behind the boxing promotion company Matchroom, is backing Devin Haney to emerge victorious over Ryan Garcia. Eddie Hearn said to Second Sout, a fantastic fight, a perfect fight for Devin, and a perfect fight for Dazone. A great fight for Ryan Garcia, fair play to both guys. They're two tremendous young fighters putting it on the line on April 20th. I'm looking forward to a massive night. Hearn foresees either a decisive late stoppage or a triumph by points in their upcoming 12-round headline bout. If Hearn didn't have a horse in the race, who would he back? Would his bet on Haney remain steadfast if he wasn't the one waving the promotional flag? He said, I think Devin wins by late stoppage or points. Similarly, Jamel Herring throws his support behind Haney. He is acknowledging and capitalizing on Haney's established legacy. In a conversation with Fight Hype TV, he said, Devin Haney, just look at the body of work. I've been in the gym in the past with Devin Haney. He's sharp, even as he's fasting, you know, for reasons now, he was sharp and sparring yesterday when I watched him. So again, Devin does the craft, and he takes the craft seriously. In the build-up to the impending bout, pundits within the boxing community have expressed reservations about Ryan Garcia's approach to the fight. His online posts have sparked uncertainty about his mental readiness to face Haney, simultaneously bolstering confidence in Haney's camp that victory is within their grasp. Herring had some important things to say regarding Ryan Garcia's recent actions. He stated, Man, it's crazy, man. It's crazy like me being an advocate for PT and awareness. You know what I'm saying. I, you know, wish the best for folks like that, but you're just playing it as a game to promote. Herring described Rai's recent outbursts as a game to promote. Additionally, he hinted that it might be wise for the boxer to undergo a mental health assessment before stepping into the ring. He said, I can't get down with that, but again, he can't get mad also at the commission, at the New York State of Commission, for wanting to do a mental evaluation. Like, bro, you are putting crazy out there every day. What did you expect? When asked what he would suggest to Ryan Garcia for the fight, Jamel Herring said, he got to be mentally strong. You gotta be mentally tough. Ryan has the tools to be a great fighter if he wants to. You know what I mean? He's not a bad fighter. I like Ryan as a fighter. But mentally, we don't know if they can get over that hump to get to the next level. Amir Khan, a former light welterweight champion, has predicted that Devin Haney will win over Ryan Garcia. Years ago, Khan enlisted Haney as his sparring counterpart to gear up for his bout against Terence Crawford. Witnessing Haney's prowess firsthand, Khan was captivated, foreseeing a future where Haney would ascend to the realm of world champions. Look, I always said Devin Haney is an amazing fighter. Back in 2018, when I was training for uh, the fight against um, uh, Terence Crawford, he was my, one of my sparring partners. And I mean, the what a fighter he is. And I said, it, I said it a long time ago that he is one of the best fighters I've sparred. Amazing fighter, has good skill, good movement, power as well. So yeah, he's really showing his class. Khan said that he knew they had fought six times before, with the score being 3-3. He believed that if they were to fight again, Devin Haney would win. Oh, yeah, Ryan I think it would be Ryan Garcia. Yeah. I mean, look, I know they fought three times before. And, no, no, six times, six times before, 3-3. Yeah. Three, three. But I think if it ever happens again, definitely I think... Uh, uh, Devin Haney will take that fight. He then mentioned that he and Devin had sparred for six, seven, or eight rounds once. Khan added that Haney is a brilliant fighter and expressed his gratitude for Haney's help. That weight class? I'm um, giving a lot of weight away, but you know what? He holds it quite well. Uh, when I was sparring with him, obviously he was taking a, he, he was hold, he's holding his own, you know? Um, I think he's a very good fighter. Um, yeah, we had some great sparring sessions together. We did that one time. We did maybe, maybe have done like six, seven, eight, eight rounds with each other. Brilliant fighter. Meanwhile, Calvin Ford told Mill City Boxing that he had been supporting Devin in all his fights. However, he was picking Ryan to win this fight against Haney. Ford explained that he had been in front of Ryan before, which was why he was favoring him in this match. He added, I've been riding with Devin all his fights. I'm going with Ryan in this fight because I've been in front of him. What I've seen is it's going to be an interesting fight, but I think Ryan has had enough time being with Derek James. Taking the fight, both of them have got a lot to lose and a lot to gain. Ford commented that the upcoming fight would be a good and watchable one. He mentioned that he was trying to determine who the A-side and B-side fighters were. Ford added, It's going to be a good fight, and it's going to be a fight that's watchable. I'm trying to figure out who is the A-side and who is the B-side, whose name is going to go first, and where is the fight going to be. Amidst the cacophony of speculation swirling within the boxing community, an unexpected perspective emerges from the esteemed Clarissa Shields. As a two-time Olympic gold medalist and esteemed champion, Shields brings a unique insight 
having meticulously scrutinized the trajectories of both pugilists. As Garcia dazzles with his flashy combinations and speed, Shields offers a nuanced perspective in her interview with Fight Hub TV. Beneath the surface, she detects subtle nuances in Haney's past bouts that may hold the key to shifting the balance. You know, I've enjoyed watching Ryan grow, um, grow over the years. It just seems like, to me, uh, Devin Haney has had harder fights. He has had more more challenging fights, and he's, in, and he's grown more. Shields elaborated that she wasn't sure about Ryan's abilities. She felt that the fight would be entertaining, with Ryan being flashy, throwing combinations, and demonstrating sharpness and reach. However, she believed that Devin was a better boxer and would be able to make Ryan run into some things. I don't know if I, if, if I can say that about Ryan, so I just feel that it'd be... It'd be entertaining. Like, you'll see Ryan go out there and be flashy and throw throw his combinations and be sharp and long and stuff. But I think that um, Devin is just a better boxer. Shields isn't the sole voice on the matter. Abdullah Mason, who's traded blows with Devin in the ring, also weighed in. In his analysis of the much-awaited Garcia Haney bout, Abdullah Mason stressed the importance of focus. Mason reflected, whoever is more focused will emerge victorious. They went 3-3 three and three in the amateur, although the pros are different, so you can get it at 50-50. Despite the difficulty in predicting a clear winner, Mason shared his current observation. I could say right now, from what I'm seeing off of social media, you can never judge off that, but I'm seeing Devin looking a little more focused right now. He suggested that the fighter who is more focused outside of the ring would have an advantage, and he believed that Devin was currently the more focused of the two, giving Haney the edge and concentration. He said, whoever is more focused on outside of the ring, so I think Devin, he focused right now. Subriel Matias, reigning as the IBF junior welterweight champion, openly claimed that Garcia hasn't got the heart to win the fight against Devin Haney. He said, what I can tell you is that with Ryan's ability, if he had the mentality that I had have and the heart that God gave me, nobody could beat him on the planet. Nobody would ever be able to beat him if he had a better mentality. He could be great, but he doesn't believe in himself mentally. Matias is convinced that Garcia is squandering the remarkable talent that propelled him to fame at an early age. The upcoming bout against Haney carries immense significance, yet it hinges greatly on having his complete focus. Matias, when questioned about Haney, expressed even harsher criticism toward the reigning undisputed champion. He said, all Haney does is run all the time. That's all he ever does. He never comes to fight. He's only a threat at my weight if he doesn't fight me. But he looks like a man who doesn't like to fight with all that running away. Many boxing enthusiasts have voiced their disapproval of Haney's strategic, calculated fighting style. Yet, given its evident effectiveness, can we really fault him? On the other hand, Bill Haney aimed some verbal jabs at none other than the legendary Floyd Mayweather. In an interview with Fight Hype, Bill said, The Mayweather era, that's over with, man. It's the Devin Haney era. He then added, Floyd ain't never done what Devin did at 25. Tank ain't done it. Nobody else ain't done it. Listen, you all are just scared to say it. As the countdown to Haney's showdown with Ryan Garcia ticked away, Bill Haney made a memorable appearance on the Boss Talk 101 podcast, seizing the opportunity to deliver a daring message. The host questioned him about his wild assertions regarding the illustrious Floyd Mayweather. In response, Devin's father simply said, if I'm lying, punch me in the mouth or put him in the ring with Devin and prove me wrong. Whoever that may be, whoever your favorite fighter is, because we take on the world. Expanding on his earlier remarks about the significance of finances, Bill emphasized Devin Haney's previous reign as the undisputed champion in the lightweight division. He said, We've done stuff that Floyd hasn't done, and that's become undisputed, and then go and defend it again to put that stamp on. It's important to note that Devin twice asserted his undeniable status. Despite Floyd Mayweather's illustrious career, adorned with countless achievements, the title of undisputed champion eluded him. So, Bill said, in in order to stamp it, you got to stick around. You got to hang around that block to make sure it's yours before you turf hop. In the meantime, it appears that Floyd Mayweather and Bill Haney's rivalry has become worse. We know that Mayweather made waves by revealing sparring footage featuring Haney and Gervonta Davis. The footage suggested a clear dominance by Davis over Haney. Although Haney's camp refuted these claims, they also challenged Mayweather to release footage of Haney sparring with Mayweather himself. During an interview, Bill said, It ain't going to work, Floyd. He should have shown the sparring video of him and Devin while he's showing all those sparring videos. It was like Floyd was looking in the mirror. It was before the Conor McGregor fight when he finally decided that he could no longer be in there, boxing with no real fighters. Meanwhile, Devin Haney facing off against Ryan Garcia is hyped up like the ultimate showdown, akin to a winner-takes-all Game 7 scenario seen in the intense playoffs of NBA, MLB, and other major U.S. sports leagues. Haney, the strategic tactician, hungers for victory, his identity intertwined with his sporting heritage. Haney stated in the first episode 
episode of the YouTube series, 40 Days, that this was just the beginning for him. He mentioned that he had a long career ahead and many years to dominate the sport, adding that as opponents are lined up, he continues to knock them down. It's only the beginning. Now, I got a long career ahead of me. I got years and years to dominate the sport. They just keep lining them up, and I'm going to just keep knocking them down. Despite his history with Garcia, Haney is determined to make an impact and believes he is the best boxer in the world. Haney stated that he respects everyone who steps into the ring, acknowledging that Garcia is at the highest level for a reason. However, Haney expressed his intention to show Garcia that he is not on his level. Everybody that gets in the ring, he's at the highest level for a reason, but it's for me to go in there and show him that you're not on my level, you're not Devin Haney good, that's for me to prove. And that's what I will do. Garcia has spent a lot of time on social media, in contrast, but he seems to be in good form. Haney shared his thoughts over Garcia's actions on the internet. Ryan is showing he is a kid, said Haney. I mean, look at his antics. Look at what he is doing. He is all over the place with it. The world is going to see how great I am, how much better I am, and how in the amateurs things change. And it is who became the better pro. And that is what all this is about. He's a kid. I mean, look at, look at his antics, look at what he's doing. He's all over the place with it. I'm a true professional. I try to be professional in, 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 in everything I do. The world is tuning in. So look, look how much media here. Look how many people are here to, to watch us. Great I am, how much better I am, and how the amateurs, things change. It's who became the better pro, and uh, that's what all this is about. On the other hand, old comments from Mike Tyson have resurfaced, where he said that he would rather see Devin Haney defend against Ryan Garcia. Tyson perceived Golden Boy's promotion of Ryan Garcia as highlighting his flamboyant charm and captivating entertainment factor attributed to his explosive power in the ring. Tyson commented to Aki TV that Haney won pretty easily against unified lightweight champion George Kambasas Jr. Tyson praised Haney's smart approach, noting that he didn't take many risks, which he considered a wise strategy. Tyson then expressed his interest in seeing Haney face Ryan Garcia, describing Garcia as a formidable opponent. Tyson pointed out that they are roughly the same weight class and expressed his desire to see them fight each other. Devin won pretty easy, really smart, didn't take many chances. It was just very smart. Who do you want to see him fight next? Yes. Personally, he wants to fight Tank. I want to see him fight, um, what's homeboy name? Garcia. Garcia, Garcia's a bad dude. And they're, they're, they're pretty much the same weight. You know, I want to see him fight him. Tyson expressed his initial concerns about Devin Haney's fight with Cambosos, but noted that Haney handled the bout quite easily by consistently using his jab and moving effectively. Tyson observed that although Haney might have been hit occasionally, it didn't seem to bother him. He praised Haney for his professional approach, avoiding unnecessary flashiness, and effectively scoring his punches. Tyson also shared his excitement about a matchup between Haney and Ryan Garcia. I was worried about... I'm um, Devin in this fight, and he handled the guy real easy. But just that he kept the jab in his face, he moved, he made a guy hit with a punch and didn't disturb him. He just did it in a real professional fashion, didn't try to be fancy, he just scored the punches. The ball's in his hand, he's number one now. He's the number one man. And I think him and Ryan Garcia, It'll be a dynamite fan, but not only dynamite, it'll be, be a big money fight. Moreover, Tyson stated that the favorite going into a fight between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia would be Devin. He based this prediction on Haney's victory over George Kambosos Jr., who had previously defeated Teofimo Lopez. Tyson said, you gotta go with Devin. Devin is going to be the favorite because he just beat George Kambosos Jr. that beat Teofimo Lopez. So he's going to go in there as the favorite over Ryan Garcia. On the other hand, Ryan Garcia has taken a bold step by personally spear heading the promotion of his upcoming bout. Garcia, with a confident stride, commandeered the microphone to reaffirm his resolve in overcoming his long-standing adversary, Haney. He said, I'm obviously ready to f*** Devin Haney up next week. Anybody betting against me? You all just lost money. Real talk. Since the announcement of their showdown back in February, Garcia and Haney have been locked in a verbal skirmish. King Rai fired the first shots, claiming his adversary was pushing to relocate the bout to the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. The dream swift retaliated, accusing Garcia of lacking dedication to their bout and indulging in substance misuse. Meanwhile, the iconic figure of boxing, Roy Jones Jr., shared his insights into the impending showdown. When questioned about Garcia's prospects in the upcoming match, Jones Jr. recommended that King Rai diversify his combat skills. Roy said, Ryan has got to use more weapons. He can't just depend on the left hook. Everybody knows about your left hook now. If it's just your left hook, that shouldn't work. Because like Tank said, if all you've got is a left hook, you're not going to beat me. And he didn't. 
Roy observed that Devon understands this concept well and advised Ryan to develop additional boxing techniques. According to Roy, Ryan should develop a few more weapons so people aren't just looking for the left hook. They don't know where it's coming from. However, Ryan Garcia is feeling optimistic ahead of his fight with Devin Haney. Garcia is convinced that triumphing over Haney in the heart of Brooklyn, New York will thrust him into the spotlight as the new icon of boxing. While he acknowledges the challenge ahead, Garcia visualizes this victory as a crucial step towards that lofty goal. During his midday media training session in Dallas, Texas, Garcia shared a cascade of forecasts and insights, offering fans a glimpse into what they can anticipate. Garcia said, it is going to be light work for me. He is just not on my level, and he is never going to be on my level. He is a good fighter, but he is not my level. Garcia firmly contends that Haney fails to match his caliber, notwithstanding Haney's impressive resume. Viewed through the lens of analytics or the world of sports, it may not align perfectly. Yet Garcia, the underestimated contender in the betting realm, holds steadfast to this perception as his personal reality. Garcia added, It is going to be a vibe. It is going to be a movie. I just want to tell everyone that is going to be in the arena to make sure you create cool chants. I want to feel the vibration in the room. I want you guys to scare Haney with your guy's roar, and we just annihilate this dude. Garcia exudes confidence, buoyed by his conviction that he stepped into the pinnacle phase of his athletic journey. He confessed to sensing the dawn of his prime. With each passing day, he perceives himself evolving, reaching the zenith of his athletic prowess as a fighter. In his final words, Garcia tackled the issue head on, suggesting that Haney may have secretly wished he wouldn't show up for the fight. But Garcia didn't shy away from confidence, boldly proclaiming not only a resounding victory, but also his intent to dominate the boxing scene thereafter. He said, My intention is to lay a stamp on this. I just gotta keep fighting and proving it and becoming a champion in multiple weight classes and take my spot as the king of boxing. On the other hand, Puerto Rican boxer Abraham Nova steps in with his forecast. During an exclusive interview with Fight Hype, Nova boldly declared his chosen victor. Nova couldn't help but share his insights on the highly anticipated Garcia Haney bout. El Super wasted no time coming up with an answer, claiming, Ryan Garcia all day, he's going to win. Nova added that Garcia's personality imparts a false image, but Garcia has what it takes to win. He said, his skills, the way he looks don't speak for him, but he performs, and he knows how to fight, and the number one thing is style makes the fight, and Ryan Garcia, he's tailor-made for that. When asked about whether Garcia can score a knockout, Nova stated, high possibility, yes. Similarly, whether Haney's calculated approach will prevail over Garcia's flashy style remains to be seen, but one thing is certain. This fight has all the makings of a modern boxing classic. Make sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one.